morning. It's me again. It's me, like the 13th of June. And you're probably like, oh, for God's sakes, more boat building videos. What can I say? Welcome back to Sailing Ruby Rose. Couple of things to show you. I have been away for two and a half weeks. In that time, a few things have happened. Number one, hull number one, Supernatural is complete. So we're going to go and take a really, really good look around that to see the completed first boat. Then we're going to go and see what's going on with Ruby Rose 2. And then I'm going to go for a beer. No, no, it's too early for that. Keep watching anyway. So, the seasonal rains have started. The sky is great. It is about 15 degrees cooler than it was whew, the last time I was here. Anyway, let me just step on board. Everything's wet. Super natural. The boat finished. There's not a lot else to say about this. It's done. Everything is done. Everything is fitted. It is signed off. On, sign off, on, off, on, off, on. I'm going to show you some features. The cockpit is looking huge. Now, we've gone for the vinyl floor matting. Clearly, Randy and Denise have the vinyl floor matting. This is all now ready for shipping. So this will be going overseas. Something else I wanted to talk to you about. These. These actually look very, very, very beautiful. We talked a lot, all right? We picked up on this very, very quickly that on the test sail, on the test sail, there was far too much ambient light, light pollution from the instruments. So James has cleverly designed um, some very, very beautiful gray perspex panels to cover all the instruments. Nice. The GPA point there. Also worth noting that these have now been put in, these little frames. And so this all, all is in place. Looks really, really nice. Well done, James. Other things I want you to note is that in the galley, there is now a spice rack, a rack for spices. And I'm gonna show you all that as well. I think we're having something different because I'm not quite sure how many spices we need. There's only eight, right? Seven? That's a Simpsons reference and I will build the spice rack. I want to take you around the finished galley of Supernatural Hole 1, just to show you some of the features that we're that is super excited about. The spice rack uh, underneath the hob, we are not having that, and the owners, Randy and Denise, have not specified an oven there. But we have a lot of cold storage there. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of storage for freezers. We've got the dedicated fridge with, um, that's actually not got an ice box in now. So it's a really lovely space, that dual, propane induction hob which was fantastic on the test sale and they've now put this little kind of rack in for kind of like keeping things safe and stowed at sea other things to note the day bed there did they change the table nope but there's now a little puff I did come back after hours and I want you to show you the, the how the settee turns into the daybed. This is whole one supernatural and it kind of shows you the space that we're going to have either for watches or for sleeping or for watching TV kind of film nights. It's a, it's a really cozy space. Really, really happy with that. And let's take a turn down into the final finished boat. This is the final finished. No more work required on this signed off on. Mm, smells like new boat. It's that boat show smell. So interestingly, split mattress so that you can get to these lockers. See, split the mattress that way you can lift everything up. So let's have a look. Forward starboard cabin. This is now you can see the headboards, you can see the cabinetry is in place. As you can see, there's storage here for clothes of whoever is in the, that cabin. There is also these little bookshelves underneath the steps and there are these really funky storage bins just underneath the mattress that actually they're very, very useful composite interiors, wood faced, but you can just obviously, you know, put your bits in there, get very, very easy access to that. But I do like these little finishing touches. One thing I have found out because I was asking James where I can get a foam, a foam, a memory foam topper for this and apparently they were all memory foam topped anyway. This is going to be an area for our tools, but more about that in subsequent videos. We are doing a whole thing on our workshop in Hull 2 now that that is complete. And as we walk back through this area, this is going to look very different on Ruby Rose 2 because we've taken some of the cabinetry space in this 
in this companion way and actually turned it into galley space so it's going to look different just so that we can get more space in our galley so yeah a slightly different look to whole one and then obviously as we go into the the heads uh on starboard that full-size glass shower screen mirrors and the washing machine but it's really important that you look the way the washing machine is and this shelf part of it for stowing your washing powder and your fabric softener and the other part for folding your laundry and of course the ubiquitous vietnamese bum gun something which we all need to have in our lives can't live without it we obviously have a completely different roof to this this is something that we were pretty comfortable with sea wind changing wasn't keen on that but it's a preference thing and then we'll take a dive down into the master cabin so master cabin master hull let's call it hull let's look in here some things i want to show you again because this boat is finished it's easy to talk about finishing touches the woodwork here looking great and this whole galley sink they're looking really good we've actually asked them to remove the toothbrush holders i think in this day and age i have the right as a practicing dentist to say that if you're using a manual toothbrush you need to reassess your uh, oral hygiene okay this box work is all now finished it's nice to see there and everything here finished looking good actually really nice really really nice cabin drawers and again it's very very different to our boat but the quality of this is beautiful and we look at the sliding door and box work again looks great it's absolutely great magnetic catches handrails we're going to something different here air conditioning controls going to something different here the fridge going to something different there as for the foredeck, well, everything's packed up for shipping and stowage. But I want to show you the lockers. I think James was saying they've done some work to the final bits of the lockers. So obviously the mast is obviously team dis disassembled, disassembled. And in here we have sails. There is a stowage point. This is really interesting. A stowage point for the cockpit table. So the cockpit table stows. That is super important. Really important, a nice little feature stowable cockpit table well done james for thinking that one up non-slip on the non-slip areas on the on the on the flush hatches again really really clever little mast steps here again very 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 clever all looking amazing okay so time to take a look around ruby rose 2. oh god i bugged my back up the other week i need to go and get a massage you can tell that there's a lot of work going on on our boat. How can you tell? I'll show you. There's a lot of work going on on our boat. So, as always, I'm going to take you through and show you all this. Doing it all cold, as we've done before. Hello, Anne. So clearly there's some mousing going on. Lines being run. Our barbecue. Super beautiful. So this is actually where we want it. Autopilot control. VHF. What does turquoise wiring mean? And master vault. Looking great. Looking really great. Oh, other things to notice. I'm going to do this with a voiceover because there's so much noise in the factory. I want to just take a quick flip around the galley. This is the new compartment underneath our hob top. Now, this is not the full depth yet. There is still a panel to be cut out. But it, as you can see, it is a full cupboard. The sink with the direct chute to the sea is in place. And we have, just looking at all the storage in the galley, a lot of storage. We can also augment that, obviously, with storage in the holes. Freezer's going to go there. We have the additional fridge at the end of the galley. And although this is a whole mess, it is very, very close to completion. Going into the master hull, you can see that we've got these full, these full depth bookshelves. We need to be able to get books in there and have the right depth. This aft heads is about the same as the other bathroom, but look at this, smart glass. 
electronically controlled smart glass that will dim and darken at the flick of a button. This will all have frames around it, so these wires won't be visible, but this is one of the little Easter eggs that James has put to us, smart glass in the heads. We're super, super excited about that. I'm a little bit of a technical nerd. Moving forward, now we have the master cabinet. And again, it looks like it's a dog's dinner, but we're almost there. So we have, they have moved things to snake lights. We are moving to articulated snake lights because they are better for being at sea, for reading in bed. They've also moved to these catches. Now these, I understand why they've done them. I preferred the catches in hole one, but it's being done so that you don't get oily fingerprints on the wood, which is, it's oiled. So you're gonna end up with dirty marks eventually. The other thing to notice is that we now have this, which has not been seen on hole one. This is the workstation. So we have a drawer in the workstation for putting pens and little bits and bobs and leads and iPads and everything. We're also having a GPO outlet there. As I said, the upholstery is all finished. The navigation gear is actually now already in. This is literally just the last bits being wired in and going down now into the, the, the starboard hull. Again, the brown paper just masks everything. It's all done for protection, so you can't really see see how close to finishing this is but this is something that we're super excited to show you Corian. now our patrons did a really amazing job of doing the calculations on this this is a 12 millimeter Corian sheet we took the dimensions using a tape measure measured it all out and this actually is only about it's just under 40 kilos weight difference between the Corian and the composite that goes in as standard so we're super happy that actually the weight penalty is not that extreme Ladies here, those amazing girls from the fabric shop are templating for our side screens. So this is the final bit of templating that needs to be done. There are just, as you can see, so many people on this boat just getting everything done. And even today, I had to have a long, a long chat with Mr. Lim about placement for speakers, getting the final bits done. And at this point, he is supervising the placement of the Corian, and he literally had a tiny little six millimeter shim that he was kind of working around the whole galley to make sure that at no point was there more than six millimeters or less than six millimeters between the Corian and the, the cabinetry. So it's, it's a very, very, it's a real precision job. And seeing the Corian finally in place, we can see exactly how, how well it fits. Now, moving on, obviously, we've got this big lithium battery bank, this table which turns into a day bed and actually we feel that we'll use the day bed a lot on passage because it allows well either up one of us to sleep while the other one is very close to to the helm and the, whoever's in charge of watch this is the spice rack again modificating modificating doesn't even exist as a word does it modifying uh, a cupboard interior to take spices it's such a shallow cupboard the woodworking team thought okay we'll just do something with this it actually makes a functional space and then we've got that dual sink all carved out of the lipped corian completely smooth no drainage holes no nothing it is absolutely beautiful and something that i do all want you to understand yes it is matte in finish it is polished once it is placed and i have seen it since it has gone through another stage of polishing but the final polish will occur once everything is done so it does have a sheen to it and it really brings out the sparkle in the Corian barbecue want to talk to you about that we've obviously got this barbecue it's got that drip tray in place so basically we as you remember when we used the 1260 we had so much time outdoors with the barbecue the grease trap there and so that is going to become a real feature of what we do and how we cook at sea, at sea also at anchor we're very very much into barbecuing both on land and now obviously on the boat so like super excited about that that's one of the things we are really really looking forward to using um and yeah absolutely amazing realistically speaking we are so close to getting done and in subsequent videos you will see how close this boat is to being finished so there you go we're almost there now that boat one is finished they're just working on boat two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and all the other boats but yeah look look she looks lovely she looks so damn lovely and um yeah i'm blown away Teresa's is blown away we're just super super happy for all this so this month it's a, i mean it's the 13th today so yeah within a month this boat will be ours anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode this is us within one month of sailing our boat leave us a comment i will see you all next week take care goodbye Oh, uh -huh.